Wow. I was right here, too. Jesus. Pathetic. <sighs> might want to, uh, move my head for my anus. That might help me be a little bit more efficient. Did she turn off? One more down. Nope. Nope, didn't want to do that. But did it anyway. But I did it anyway. No, me, 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 Want some of this? Turn my back to you. I didn't even respect you enough to look at you when you died. Grenade! Get out of here! Damn. She just insulted that ass. Alright, now I can use a computer in peace. Check. I'm here. What do you need, Amber? Can I has eBurg cheeseburger.com? How did you get in? That's what she said. I can be very charming. Alright, I can take a hint. Listen, the people in that complex aren't of any consequence and are certainly no threat to the Empire. They have quite an escort for people of no military value. Try again. I'm telling the truth. They're force sensitives. And the law on Imperial planets is all force sensitives must be trained as Sith. If you don't train, you're executed as a potential threat. But not everyone would make it as a Sith. Some people discover their sensitivity when they're too old, or they just don't have the will. So they go into hiding with us. How does that help? It may be difficult for you to understand, but we don't try to exploit these people. We get them to Republic Planet so they can grow dirt, or compose symphonies, or whatever it is they're good at. Grow dirt. But the Emperor keeps making laws that say they have to die. They do, and you're going to watch. You are a monster, and we're going to hunt you down like one. Yeah, even though I'm no fan of the Sith, they're still going against the rules of the Empire. And that will not be tolerated. Sensitives. They're very force sensitive. They're about to be force dead. Where's my ship? Oh, yeah, right. I remember when she used to have that pull, she used to have a pull ability, where she would pull enemies to her. It was, uh, very annoying. You pull them towards you, yeah. Or, uh, you thank all those guys at once. Wait, that didn't sound right.
Let's talk sometime on the ship, okay? No ditches. The buddy there should have kept hiding behind the uh, generator. Uh, I play on the Darth Bandon server. Or as I like to call it, the Darth Brandon server. Because nothing sounds quite as scary as Darth Brandon. It is Apprentice Darth Joey. What the hell? What's the um the bonus? Defeat station forces. What? The? I'm confused as hell. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's a force sensitive droid. Come my on God. Out. Show you my gun. Stab. So I need to kill a whole bunch more forces and eight more refugees who don't have to live like refugees. Gotta have a good time. At least they're bunching them up nicely. You're having some serious problems. Other than death. Death probably is the biggest problem you have, though. In the grand scheme of things. Well, we got no bonus done. Oh, sure, let's kill those guys. Why not? Let's have some fun. Even in death, he stands at attention. It's dedication. Damn it. Need more force sensitive refugees. There we go. Speak of the devil. Ah. 
not a very good leader. Just walking around, letting your pledges get completely destroyed. Two more. Let's start heading out because by the time we make it there, we'll have finished quest finally. One more down. Do you want to kill this guy or not? Very odd. I think that's bugs. She wasn't attacking, and these guys probably should have all attacked together. I think something was not quite right there. We were on kind of a hill. I'm thinking something was not working the way it was supposed to. Alright. Are you refreshed? Yes. What? Oh. Dumbass. Um, I was gonna say, I really don't wanna... wasn't gonna quick travel, but man. I don't wanna fight my way out of here. It'll take forever. Why she only wants to talk to me on the ship? It seems a bit strange. How am I on playtime? 18 hours, 24 minutes. We're still ahead. Level 19, 18 hours and 24 minutes. Oop. Ah, see, I knew there was something to do with this guy. You're Tyrus's operative, correct? Good to see you alive. Major? Yes, I'm here with your operative. He secured the tunnels. No, I contacted you immediately, sir. Yes, my hair sucks, sir. He wants to know what was down there. They were smuggling four sensitive youths off the planet. I killed as many as I could find. Major Tyrus, bad news. It sounds like the Balmorans are back in the prodigal Jedi business. Yes, sir. Probably one of Commander Hun's projects. Yes, sir. Will do, sir. The Major praises you on your stunning victory and service to the Empire and says we'll move a squad in to exterminate any survivors. Trust me, that won't take long. Yes, now that we know we don't want the cargo, we can roll in the gas and the bombs. <laughs> yes! There's not a finer sight in the galaxy than gassed rebels running out of a cave into the waiting blasters of your own battalion. I agree. Well, perhaps sunrises, but for those, you have to wake up early. <laughs> this is my kind of man. Why can't this guy be one of my companions? He's pretty awesome. Hmm. I have better boots. Oh, there's like the boots I just happened to find. <laughs> Guest rebels running out of a cave into waiting blaster fire. Mm. That is a beautiful sight, I bet. That's Firestar, not doing that one. Okay. I like to have that as a screensaver. Having rebels run into oh, the awaiting arms of blaster fire as they scream and beg for mercy, tears running out of their eyes, both as the blasts pierce their skin and also the, you know, gas in their eyes. When gas gets in your eyes. Yep, yeah, first, wait, not, is the speeder at 20? I don't think it's 20, I think it's 25. I think it's even worse than that.
They're even bigger a-holes. Wait, what's over here? Yeah, let's go do this. Mm. See, yeah, let's go do this first. I don't know what it is, but I really just like that roll. All going down. It's like a bomb. Yosh. Let's bloody some noses. See, I would prefer to do more than just blooding their nose. I would give like to give them exit and enter entrance holes. How does that make sense? One more down. from here. Well then. Bugger that. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, you son of a... He was barely dead. Why did the body disappear? You son of a bitch. Much more. A task just for you. Oh, thank you, Master. Clear up some room. Got a lockbox too in there. Need to open up. See two lock boxes. Damn, one had really crappy credits. Oh, some of these. Damn, what's wrong with me? Two mining vests. Fantastic. Makes me look like a total goofball. Oh, screw it. Not running back. Is something over here. And of course, oh no, she got it. It's gonna say, of course, she got stuck. Looks like she got it. Nope, nope, she's still stuck. I think. Hopefully she will get unstuck. Can't live without me, huh? Yep. Just running. Let's see what this messenger wants. Sergeant Tadus, here for Cypher 9. Got orders from the planetary governor to find you. You're needed at this war conference, Priority Alpha 1. Why does the Balmoran governor need me? The Dark Council sent an emissary, big time Sith Lord, to personally review the status of the Balmoran occupation. This conference will determine the next stage of the ground campaign. Whole war's about to be decided, and the governor wants your expertise. Let me guess, the Governor needs support from Imperial Intelligence. That's really none of my business, sir. Assigning Black Level Clearance. No one will cause you trouble. Be quick, though. They're starting any minute. Oh, yeah. That name sounds vaguely familiar. 
Excuse me, what's your clearance? I need someone for a retrieval mission. It's a matter of Imperial security. The Republic raided one of our research posts. A ship escaped with stolen plans for a brand new walker design. Luckily, our gunners just brought the ship down. I need someone, someone trustworthy, to check the crash site and retrieve those plans. Without going into details, I probably have a higher clearance than you. Hmm. Oh, I see. Seems I picked the right person to ask. This is the route to the crash site. Oh, if there are any survivors, kill on sight. Take the plans to Agent Nianla. She'll get them to safety. Thanks. It was a stroke of luck meeting you. Yeah, you don't need to tell me to kill the survivors. I'm good to go on that. At your service, sir. Heroic 4. Eh. I'll grab it, but again, probably will not do it. In fact, I'm going to unfollow those. Grab the bind point. Talk to Watcher 8. Good day, Cypher 9. Yes, I know your identity. You may call me Watcher 8. I have a mission for you. Agent Veld, my top field operative, has failed to check in. Instead, I received some garbled distress signal. I will not abandon Agent Veld. I need him found. Knowing Agent Veld's task could be the key to finding him. I can't risk exposing the details of a field agent's mission. I can give you Agent Veld's last known position near the Republic's main landing field, but the rest would be up to you. If you know my designation, you know I can cope without backup. Glad to hear it. His distress signal was sent from these coordinates. I'll send him an alert to watch for you, but it may not get through. Good luck. Alrighty. Let's go talk to this governor, I guess. Express elevator! Bam! Goodbye, kneecaps. Okay, I can't take two express elevators. My, uh, my legs could not manage that, I don't think. Nor could my internal organs. Agent, Captain Regal did well to recruit you. Today the Balmoran resistance, backed by the government in exile, takes its last pitiful gasp. We have you to thank. It won't be long before the corpse of former Defense Minister Vol Argon is cold in the ground. I hope you intend to say thanks with some form of reward. That could be in the cards, if you pull off this last play. It's not really what I meant the to say. The Resistance, aided by the Republic, has made its headquarters in the Balmoran Arms Factory. It is a heavily fortified facility, but it's not invulnerable. Not with such a powerful patriot as yourself on our side. I await your orders. If we may impose on you for one final task in service of the Glorious Empire. We need you to break into the factory, shut off its power, and use the period of panic to shut down security. Once this is done, the main attack force can sweep in and wipe out the resistance. And if you see Vol Argon, kill him. It's time we cut the head off this serpent. Just be wary. Word is, the resistance at the factory have the Republic's backing. They'll be well equipped and well trained. For anyone else, this would be a suicide mission. I wouldn't consider it, but I have a good feeling about you. <laughs> but I have no problem sending you on this suicide mission. Get her a new gun. Go ahead and reverse engineer all these. Reflex mod 4. But I don't have anything to put it in for her yet. Gotta get her some orange gear when I can. I'd like to take a look at the galactic market. Now that we're getting some levels, we're getting a little bit of a buffer in what we can find to buy. 
Because when I first looked, there was very little gear for such a low level. So people were charging out the R's for it. Oh, hey, this is the chick that my you know the sorcerer banged. World, <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't. Exactly. You didn't even own up to your mistakes. That's why the Dark Council gave this planet to me. Please. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> I'm Darth Lacris, and I'm here to cleanse Balmora. Would you like to join me, Agent? I hear you're very good at your job. Gorgeous, murderous, and an eye for talent. We should talk. We should. Do you... Ah, but business first. You're here because I asked the Governor to bring me his best. Balmora has a problem. My friends of the Resistance. I won't take much time. The Empire says it owns Balmora. The Republic says it's yours. We're gone. But you and I know Balmora's won with sweat and tears. And my boys will stand by your side until everyone knows it. Grand Marshal Jaqueta, formerly of the Republic Army. Officially, he and his troops went rogue after the Republic withdrew from this sector. Ever since, they've been holed up under siege, aiding the Resistance and fortifying their position. You may have met their scouting parties already. If these men are ex-Republic, aren't they violating the peace treaty? Not, so long as the Republic government denies any official involvement. Jaqueta and the Resistance are based in the Balmoran Arms Factory, home of the brightest engineers in the galaxy. I'm told the factory's generators are inexhaustible, its defenses cutting edge, its barricades block our scans, giving the Resistance peace and privacy. Sounds intolerable. After we're done here, maybe I can help you work out your frustration. <laughs> Deliver me Balmora, and we'll work out anything you like. Jaqueta may have officially gone rogue, but the Republic still supports him. They fund his revolution from the shadows, make supply drops in secret. Those Republic hypocrites want the arms factory as a beachhead. And as Balmora's new governor, I say we take it before they mount a full invasion. If the Republic invades Balmora, they'll be violating the peace with the Empire. And if they act through mercenaries, a foreign government, they'll hide their involvement. But it'll be an invasion just the same. Obliterate the factory defenses. Lower the barricades that block our scans, and I'll have an army at your back. And if you can... Bring me proof of Republic involvement on Balmora. We'll expose their lies on a galactic stage. Oh yeah. I like a woman who can force choke a man and doesn't understand how makeup works. Screw your elevators. Bam. Another time. You need to be can't really make, make much anyway. Eh, we'll keep getting your slicing up, but the hell. I will perform according to your exacting specifications, Master. No enemy. Oh, it's just it's still to go back up. Screw your elevators unless they're going up. I guess that's how that works. Still doing well on money. What do I install? Oh, okay. It's over here. I was thinking, uh, as far as playing other games I talked about a few times, kind of wanting to switch it up more. 
since I've only got a few weeks until Diablo 3, and that will probably be consuming my life for a while. I was thinking about maybe once I hit level 30, I might play something else. Maybe Arkham City. Damn it. It's a hell of a run. <laughs> 